this tail. <laughs> Welcome to Divine Reptiles, where I'm just your average guy that has a passion for wildlife. If that sounds like you, baby, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful a green iguana can be. But they don't make such great pets. And I'm gonna show you why. So come on, follow me. All right, guys, as you can see, you're in the house, right inside the front door, reptile room. So let me show you what I got real quick. We're working on him, as you can tell. He's a, he's a little feisty. So this is our red tegu. I just wanted you guys to be able to see him. Uh, he's a little grumpy because I uh, he was burrowed right here and I touched him and got him out. See him breathing hard like I am not happy about it. Uh, in here is our emperor scorpion uh, that you never see. He just likes to, to, <laughs> to hang out in his little temple, which is fine, but we do get him out. Uh, we've come to enjoy him. Over here is the snake enclosure that we have so far with our red tail. It's a hypo uh, red tail boa and our ball python laying out in there. This right here is our enclosure that the iguana will be moving into. Uh, as you can see, it's seven feet tall. We messed up a little bit. The lights wouldn't get all the way on top, but I'm so excited to get her in here. Uh, we'll have a video coming soon uh, showing you how we take her from this to that. So this is Starla, our green iguana. I'm gonna show you right now why these guys aren't the greatest pets. And there's just no great way of getting them out of an enclosure. Uh, you can see, look, she's already got a tail caught. Look, look, she's like, I'm gonna jack you up. She hasn't eaten today because she's so picky. We rescued her. Um, and so she only likes to eat when nobody's looking. I don't know, women. Come here, my dog. Hey, hey, look, look, see that tail? I'm telling you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. But I think once she kind of realizes uh, I'm not getting away, okay. She does, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see if I can get her. Um, oh, she's breathing so hard, like, I swear you're making me mad. I just love these guys. I think they're so gorgeous, even as feisty as they may be, but Let's take her outside and we can show you some awesome and maybe not some awesome things about these green iguanas. You ready to go outside? So Starla, our green iguana. All right, so when you hear of iguanas, this is why, honestly, in my opinion, they do not make good pets. They are, they're, they're vicious, um, they're hard to tame. Uh, they, they have just so many little features about her. However, at the moment, She's great. I love it when she's like this. I think she's just excited to be out here in the sun, aren't you? I can feel her though. She's like, I'm gonna jump if you let me, okay? The first thing about them is their nails, okay? We literally had just clipped her nails and man, they get super, like these talons that just tear into you. As you can kind of see right there through my hand, I mean, I'm already bleeding. Uh, she's already scratched me all up there, all up here. And all that really is, is just, just holding on. She wants to make sure that She's not gonna fall, uh, and, and she really just tries to secure herself. It's, it's nothing out of uh, viciousness, but <laughs> these nails are brutal. Second thing, this tail. This tail. <laughs> this, look, just doing that, like it stings. It stings, and she is thinking about jumping. I can feel her body. Where you going? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I felt you trying to go. Let's re <laughs> let's reposition her. All right, put it right here on my chest, right? This tail, I'm telling you, she is notorious for whipping. I mean, it stings, and she's only pushing, what, maybe three and a half feet? And this thing right here is brutal, and she knows how to use it, I'm telling you, okay? So there's two reasons why iguanas don't really make great pets. Third thing is, is just... They're just hard, they're hard to, to maintain. They need specific light, specific humidity, some heat, 
uh, things to climb, water. Uh, you know, you can't go on vacation for a week and not feed them. Uh, you know, they they eat fruits and vegetables. Uh, with her being a rescue, it took us forever to figure out what it is that she wanted, what she wanted to eat, what she didn't want to eat, and we finally figured it out. As you can tell, she's she's getting some good meat on her. Uh, and on top of it, they have a bite, okay? I have not really come across too many iguanas that bite, uh, but she has opened her mouth as a very uh, threatening posture of, I will take your face off, you're irritating me. She's not at the moment, actually, she's being great. She's just, hey, I love being outside, I hear the birds, and I'm on video. <laughs> um, but they have a nasty bite, they do. Uh, they got uh, very uh, sharp teeth. And the problem is that some lizards will bite and they just, you know, bite, get that pressure, let go. The problem with iguanas is, is they bite and they shake. Uh, I put my finger in their mouth just to see. I should not have done that. But I wanted to know, um, and it is, it's just what they do in the wild. They shake their teeth, shake their face to get the leaves off the tree. Um, and it wasn't necessarily anything bad. It was just like, I've had enough. She bit, shook, let go. Um, and as you can imagine, I quit messing with her. Didn't I? Look how beautiful that green is. I mean, I know they're an invasive species down in Florida, but man, uh, you know, if you can take a little bit of a hostile reptile um, and, and be able to work through some of the things, I, I do think they can make great pets. But for a beginner person, somebody that doesn't really uh, appreciate <laughs> being tore up and and bid or whipped, this is definitely not an animal for you. Maybe you should talk. On top of needing some beautiful sunlight like we are today, I mean, they just, they need so much. Uh, when, uh, when iguanas poop, like uh, many reptiles, they poop and pee at the same time. Goes everywhere, every day. Uh, we try to give her a bath every day to every other day just because she actually will poop in her water. Um, but, the, but the food, the cleaning, the caring, um, just the maintenance of these animals uh, is a lot. And the problem is, is that you guys will go to reptile uh, places or pet stores and they are, they're, they're super common. You'll see them everywhere. Uh, baby iguanas are, are, are super tough to maintain they just are they need so much um this size is a little bit you know more doable they shed just like you know most reptiles do as you can see uh we can just sit here and literally just pick skin down off of her uh just like this uh, makes her feel good i think she she loves it when we do that don't you just say it just tell them she's like no i am thinking about how i'm gonna jump off you and you're not gonna catch me but I'm gonna catch you. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be talking about these wonderful, beautiful misunderstood creatures of reptiles and many others. I'm, I'm hoping that one day I can bring you guys on the journey as I go around to educate everybody on the, the good, the bad, the ugly when it comes to these guys. However, when it comes to me, I love them all. What do you think? Do you love me? She's looking at me like, no, I'm gonna bite your nose though you keep sticking to that close. But man, I'm telling you, make sure you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy wildlife. No matter what it is, just always respect it. And until next time, I'll see ya.